Good evening. Anti-violence advocates calling for the return of ShotSpotter following several deadly shootings. WGN's Dana Rebick is at a vigil for a 19-year-old victim killed over the weekend. Dana. Friends and family of Sierra Evans are gathered behind me in the alley where her body was found early Saturday morning. They are chanting justice for Sierra. They have candles lit and have brought blue balloons with them. We heard from them just a moment ago on uh, her murder as this debate over the ending of Shot Spotter across the city continues. She was so kind hearted. Sierra never crossed nobody, did nothing wrong to nobody. This was uncalled for. And this is why I feel like they shouldn't ever took the shot spotters off. My friend was found in the alley later. Friends and family gathering near the spot where 19 year old Sierra Evans body was discovered Saturday morning near East 95th Street and South Avenue N in the East Side neighborhood. It's one of several incidents with a delayed police response since the gunshot detection technology was decommissioned nine days ago. Just before midnight last night, Chicago police report a man was discovered on a sidewalk in the 3500 block of West Cermak after being shot multiple times. He did not survive. A majority of city council members supported keeping shot spotter, but the mayor has pledged to veto an ordinance passed two weeks ago that would give police superintendent Larry Snelling authority over the contract. Mayor Johnson says the city is looking for alternatives. Some aldermen fear the gap in service could be lengthy and are calling for shot spotter to be reactivated. It's clear where I stood on shot spotter, uh, advocate proponent for it. 10th Ward Alderman Peter Chico came to this vigil responding to the debate over the technology as Mayor Brandon Johnson spoke about community safety and policing at an unrelated event this morning. I contacted Sound Thinking to get uh, the shot fired audio and calls and they had reported 10 shots uh, in, the, in the vicinity. Yes, the police could have been alerted quicker if shots by was still in place. It's a comprehensive approach. If it were just one thing, one answer, um, then I guess you could hire a dictator. But I'm glad that we have a democracy that recognizes that in order to build a better, stronger, safer Chicago, you have to have affordable housing. You have to have reliable, safe public transportation. You got to invest in young people. And Sierra Evans family has also called for additional things like more police presence in the neighborhood, license plate readers, as well as access to mental health services. There is a city council a meeting next week where that shot spot ordinance is expected to be on the agenda, but we are told Mayor Brandon Johnson could potentially veto that ordinance beforehand. Live in Eastside, Dana Rebick, WGN News. Thank you, Dana.